Step one is to create a new project in Storyline. To do this, you click New Project. Once you have created your new project, make a title slot. Okay, now we're going to work on inserting a video recording from Articulate Storyline. In order to do this, you click the Insert tab on the ribbon, then find the Record Screen icon, and click Record Your Screen. Okay, this will make a frame appear. We're going to make a click through using PowerPoint. So you will want to resize your frame for the entire window that you're going to record. So in order to do that, you must drag using the arrows and so forth. So now I have my PowerPoint screen resized. I'm going to click the record button. So for this, we're going to learn how to insert a clip art image. So I will click through inserting a clip art image. Or just any image. And you can also make it bigger, make it smaller. Maybe you want to insert a text box. And then click done when you're finished. We'll save your recording into Articulate. Then open back up. Then it's going to bring back insert slides. You can do a video as a single slide, but what I like to do is the step by steps. You have the view mode, the try mode, and the test mode. The view mode is what you would use as a lesson. The try mode is if you just want the students to try it. And the test mode would be if you wanted it to be graded. You can either insert it into a new scene or insert it into your current scene. And you can also name the scene, such as try mode. So I'm going to insert it into the scene I already have. It takes just a few minutes to insert. Okay, so now you have a video. So what you'll need to do is clean this up a little bit. It usually, for some reason, puts the first step twice. So always delete the first one. Then click through and read the captions to make sure they say what you want them to say. Like, for instance, I may put to click and resize picture and instead of insert tab page you might just take off the word page and text box click and drag or you may do resize picture and type text box or actually that was resize or size text box would probably be better. So now we'll preview this so you can kind of see how it works. And you can also customize these over in the menu and I'll show you that in just a second. So that's just kind of a preview of that. So in order to change your um, menu, you would go back to the Home tab, click Player, and then you probably don't have any resources, so you can take that one off. 
um, we go to menu and then you can just double click in these and it will let you change them so you could do like lesson objective then you could change these to steps step one and so forth you can also change the colors on these I like to use the blues since KCTCS colors are kind of blue um, I always change my font to the Arial font, but Open Sans is a good font to use. One thing you're also going to want to make sure you do is where this is kind of a picture, it has to have an alt tag. So you'll click the tab order and you'll find um, the picture and your alternate text for the picture would be like Microsoft PowerPoint uh, Backdrop or screen recording and then always save that you have to do that on every slide so you can also reuse this again as I mentioned as a test so I want to insert it again but this time I want to do test mode so I'm going to make that a new scene So it's going to create the slides again. You'll again have to delete that first slide. So I'm going to delete that first slide. So now we have a test. So you, in order to preview this, you click preview, and I'll show you how it works as a test. So hotspot number one was insert. Click the panel. That's incorrect for some reason. Well, not sure what's going on there. Picture. It may resize it for you. Those are things you can work on. It's going to insert things like that for you. Then text box. So there's the passing score. Those are some things that you usually have to go in and kind of clean up and take things out. Like for instance, it wants you to click on the slide. So in your um, view mode is where you kind of show these things, obviously. And you can customize these. And you may want to take out like the resizing the picture and so forth. This is just a short tutorial on how to create tests um, or try me or demonstrations using um, the Articulate Scoreline record screen. The thing I like about it is where it does put in the bubbles for you that kind of tells you what you're doing and so forth. It saves you a lot of work if you are using Camtasia to do this, which I use Camtasia to make this screencast. So I hope this helps you out.